All right, going to do a very quick video here showing some of the funny comments I get uh, on my ministry channel here on YouTube. Um, some real winners, and I'm going to have to blur out some of the things because they're using profanity. Fine Christians that they are. They're the true converts. I'm the false prophet. I don't use profanity, but they do, and they're truly saved, and I'm lost. But uh, look at some of this. First of all, I'll put the screenshots up on here so you can see it. Pete O says, shove your proof up your bleep. Down here, it says his channel page. It says, my name's Pete, and I love Jesus above all things. I love him more than I love myself in this life. I would give my life up if he told me to. God is my all. <laughs> you know, yeah, you know, um, you love Jesus and everything else. And Jesus, there was no guile found in his mouth, you know. Uh, you know, he, he didn't swear when he was here on the earth. But uh, you love Jesus, but you're going to tell somebody, you know, cuss at somebody. And he's one of Stephen Anderson's little goons. They, they're all this way. Uh, he's got the high and tight military haircut, of course, too. I'm sure there's no connection there. But I'll show you another one here. Here we have... Uh, let me zoom in here a little bit. Um, this is a terracotta... Game, terracotta Gamer. According to you, Stephen Anderson is hateful and a media whore. In this video, you use ad hominem attacks, hateful speech, and name-calling, and post videos on YouTube. Okay, and of course, another Stephen Anderson follower. But you just move right over here, and he says, Holy crap, I can't believe the number of losers who pointed out that the question was Jurassic Park and not Jurassic World. Get a bleeping life. And I won't even show you the comment down on the other side of the thing there. He's, you know, saying a very perverted comment. Um, dealing with oral sex. Excuse me. But, uh, disgusting individual. But what do you expect from the likes of Steven Anderson's camp? Uh, here's another one. This guy here, you know, he, he's, he beats around the bush about how he feels about me. You know, he's not real clear how he feels about me. Check this out. It's funny. You husky, fat-headed guy. You know you are the real hater. Instead of concentrating on hating reprobate sin and sinners like God commands. God commands we hate sinners? That's interesting. You're too busy hating other Christians. What a sad, fat, swollen head. <laughs> and let me remind you, calling the Holy Spirit from the devil is totally blasphemy in and of, in of itself. Um... I doubt the veracity of your Christianity, Mr. Holier Than Thou, to the max. What a complex. Where's your ministry? <laughs> okay, how many souls are you leading to Christ uh, with this daily rhetoric? Likely none. Probably just a sh shill fake. You need to check your mouth, ugly man. Oh, and don't even bother with your stupid smarter than every, all, every and all other Christians with your prideful responses. I will not see it because I'll be muting your stupid post. I just came here to see which probably homo so-called Zionist Jew lover because really there are none zero goose egg on the present day fake sin agog of Satan so-called Jewry was saying now and it's you again. Wow, you're really just another run a do mill so-called brethren just really just another critical jerk and then bleep. No, Jack bleep. Oh, looky me, a curse word. I'm such an awful person, so I'm hellbound now, eh? Look, like Bugs would say, what a maroon, poofed dork, for shame, get a life. Oh, okay. And I see this thing a lot, you know, and these people, they're like, you're a Jew lover. And I'm like, yes, Jesus was a Jew. Yes, you know, he came to his own and his own received him not. You know, he came to the Jews. He was a Jew. I'm a Jew lover. Yes, yes, that, that, that's correct. A Jew died on the cross to pay for my sins. I do love him for that. Uh, so yes, I'm a Jew lover. Um, <laughs> weird. And they're just like these, these comments are going all over the place. And I get some of these comments the one time, and or sometimes, and I'm just going like, what are they even saying? It's crazy. I'll show you another couple of them here um, oh this is this is another good one you'll like this one 
uh, comment here. She says, you're a liar, dip head, stop preaching lies. They are liars. You're the only jerk fungus brain. <laughs> you don't even know what you're talking about. You are work, salvation, rotten words come out of your mouth. Peter Ruckman, lover and sodomite supporter. Okay, when have I ever sort supported sodomites? I say they can get saved if they repent and turn from that sin that they're in. All right, you're not going to be a saved sodomite. Not going to happen. Okay, I don't, I don't, uh, sodomite supporter. I guess I'm supporting sodomites because I tell them that they can get saved. That makes me a sodomite supporter and whatever. But I, I, I like the jerk fungus brain. Okay, that's good. I mean, that's, I haven't heard a good one like that since I was in elementary school, you know. I mean, that's the kind of stuff we used to say back then. Apparently, she might still be in elementary school. Another one here, Biblical Evangelism YouTube name here. You are bleeping retarded. And they have a little thing that says Catholic. Good testimony for the Catholic Church there. Real good one. This guy here is a uh, supporter of Brian Moonan. And he says, uh, Dude, you are obviously a fool. You start your video apologizing for your disorganized life. Then you try and bash a wise brother of the scripture. Gunan. The cool thing about the truth is you can feel it when you hear it, and I feel in your videos is, and all I feel in your videos is foolishness. And trim your bleep beard if you're going to preach the word. You're a disgrace to the truth. Well, you know, Jesus certainly didn't have a, a beard, you know. He trimmed his beard. You read about that in Scripture, you know. Yeah. Another real good fruit coming from the ministry there. Okay, this next one's a good one. Okay, somebody sent me this one recently. This one's great. I like this one a lot. It's one of my favorites here. Okay, this woman, Apostle Laura Lee, Church of Philadelphia. Yeah, she's an, a female apostle. Yeah, that, that's scriptural. Um, David Seaman slash Brian Danglington, New World Order agents, actors, possible dual role, counter Intel Pro. Okay, um, and then look at this. She goes, I am showing you the potential dual role of David Seaman slash Brian Denlington. Okay, she, I mean, she doesn't even, doesn't even spell it the same. Her title and her description, she's not even spelling the name the same. And it's not even how you spell my name, you know. And she says, Huffy 394 XP. I am personally, I personally am convinced both characters are New World Order agents actor playing roles <laughs> you know and then she she gets i watched the video it was, it was just classic it was it was so funny this woman is so stinking delusional i'm just so filled with devils or or just drugs which you know pharmacia is witchcraft so you know take your pick but she was saying that this guy i don't even know who this guy is never even heard of him before this david seaman guy he and me are the same we're actors and this house that I have here is actually owned by the CIA. I'm like, okay, but they got a bum deal, you know. <laughs> this is owned by the CIA. My wife is ex-military, so that proves that she's also in on it, you know. And I see this with uh, Sister Sally from Heal and Restore. You know, people come in. I had a guy comment, and he's like, why are you taking the words of a hypnotist? Um, ex-hypnotist, Okay. You know, see, these lost people, they don't have that testimony of being lost and then getting saved and having a changed life. They don't have that. So they just say, you know, she can say, I'm an ex-hypnotist. My wife can say, I'm an ex-military spook. And they go, she's current military spook. You know, and Sally's a current uh, hypnotist. People are mentally ill. But, oh, and the other thing that was funny, too, about this woman with the Apostle Laura Lee. She said she's got like 10,000 subscribers or something. I'm going, okay, how's this happen? But well, clickbait stuff, you know, puts out stuff like this, stupid nonsense. But she was, she got all excited because my wife said that her cat, her former cat, uh, used to be able to read people's characters. And pets will do that. They'll look and they'll go, you know, and they'll bark or if it's a dog or they'll kind of hiss at them if it's a cat. You know, I've seen that. People can tell, you know, or there's animals can tell the different, you know, if somebody's really weird or whatever else, I've seen that thing. And again, my wife was saying that as back when she was a lost woman before she got saved. So, you know, that 
about that time of her life. Yeah. So, yes, I, apparently I'm a uh, um, an actor, you know, paid by the New World Order and things like this. And this guy and me, we're actually the same. We're just, you know, yeah, all right. Um, this is another good one. I'll put this one up. I am a devil, and in this year, I am going to personally buy... I'm going to be personally by your side all the time hoping you deviate even just a little bit because if you do I will make you fall deeper than you could ever imagine. I do not sleep, I do not eat, I do not rest. And one of you commented and said, "But do you do you go to the bathroom?" <laughs> I thought that was pretty good, you know. I mean, this guy is a devil, you know. It, it, it's it's funny. It's like you're you're trying to rebuke me as a preacher trying to say I'm a false convert and you come out and you write that you are a devil and you say well, maybe he is a devil I'm sure devils you know are writing comments on uh, YouTube videos you know how does a devil a spirit write a comment yeah I guess I was supposed to scare me or something and it, and it was you know kind of funny because you know it was one of the videos where um, okay it was, it was one of the videos where I actually rebuked the uh, charismatic devil worshippers across over here so it's kind of funny here's another one this is a good one i saw this one i thought this was pretty funny uh, bill rundle here says jesus's sermon on the mount lasted only several minutes this current video is 1.25 hours uh, when i went to a church service and sat each lord's day through this one sunday with one of these sermons that was totally incoherent i walked out I was called in to see the pastor about this. After that, I had been I have been set free and not listened to another sermon over 15 minutes. It was a form of works that we Christians set for over an hour each Lord's Day to endure this. If you can not make your religious point in 15 minutes, how much is how much of it is useful? To make my point, one third votes against with a total view of 2,448. Okay, so like when Paul is preaching in the book of Acts and he preaches all night long. I guess it was all after the first 15 minutes. Everybody should just walked out. <laughs> you know, For the time will come when they will not endorse sound doctrine. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if that verse applies or not. I don't listen to anything over 15 minutes long. Oh, okay. Yeah. Here's another fun one. Um, these two guys are going back and forth, Tommy Dunn and KJV only, responding to each other. And I, I learned this a long time ago. These people, uh, it's a lot of times people make multiple accounts. And I actually had somebody tell me, well, somebody that's very aware of a lot of the technology stuff, they said, brother, you could actually be, some of these comments uh, could actually be coming from artificial intelligence. They pick up on certain algorithms and things that are being said that are popular, and they can actually post comments, which is entirely possible. But I love this. This, let me go show you here real quickly. We're not going to read the whole thing, but KJB only says, studying the Word of God with Brian for a long time. I am beside myself right now because I have been studying the Word of God with Brian for a long time now. Okay, I took this screenshot in October of this past year, early October. Okay, you go to KJB only's. Uh, channel on YouTube they joined in September 24th of no excuse me it wasn't this year it was last year two years ago 2015 so they've been watching me for a long time it was literally like less than two weeks from the time that they joined that they created this account and posted their comment they've been watching me for a long time you know, who knows, maybe they were one of the people that I had to ban because they got heretical and they started posting links and whatever else, and I banned them and stuff, maybe they were, but it just, I find that kind of funny, that their channel was less than two weeks old, and yet they've been, quote-unquote, watching me for a long time. I found that to be pretty, kind of interesting. I thought this one was good, too. Lance Goy, false teacher equals false prophet. Why the XP in your profile name if you hate the Greek language so much? It's called a chainsaw, okay? Um, my channel name is named after a chainsaw because it started out as a logging channel. 
back when I was logging. Okay. Um, Husqvarna 394XP. The XP line of Husqvarna chainsaws are the professional line. 94cc professional saw. Okay, I forgot what the three designation there is for the 394XP, but it's a 94cc. It's got a 42 inch bar on it. I've showed it in other videos. So uh, I'm not referring to Greek letters. 394XP. <laughs> okay. And then this fool here, um, Todd Wolf. Oh my goodness, my brother in law went to Xavier University, a Jesuit university. He's a Baptist preacher who's done my wife's and I wedding. Oh no, just because one went to a Jesuit university doesn't make one a Jesuit. Okay, um, just because it's sunny outside doesn't mean it's sunny. Uh, and, I, and I've showed this in other, we showed this in the Ken Hoven thing. The Jesuits themselves say, if you've gone to a Jesuit university, if you're currently going, if you've even attended a retreat, you are part of the family of Jesuits. So by their own definitions, yes, you are a Jesuit. I understand you might not be a fourth vowel Jesuit provincial or something like this, you know, but why would you go through a Jesuit education and come out and be a Baptist pastor? And of course, I quoted, you know, Proverbs 14, 9, fools make a mock at sin, but among the righteous there is favor. And the guy's a fool. Go to another one here. Uh, this is another one that's kind of funny. Uh, J. J. Stahl. This video is pure racism. Seriously, man. Go to, go to Google, type in racism definitions. You'll find this video. And if you can't find it, message Google and tell them to add it under racism definitions in Google search. Man, you're so messed up. What did your church do to you anyway? Poor child, go find mama. She might still love you. Okay. <laughs> you know, I mean, if Google doesn't have the, the, the uh, term for racism there, I should, I should, you know, make sure that I put myself in it. Yeah. Uh, just trying to see if I should put this one in. Oh yeah, this 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 is some of the weird people out there. See, th there are people that are that are uh, satanic. They're actually just Luciferians, and and when I say satanic, I'm saying that they serve the devil. Okay, whether knowingly or unknowingly, sometimes I'll serve him through other names and things like this. Um, but, you know, like you get Satanists and they say, we don't really worship Satan, we worship the concept of Satan or something like this. They're Satanists, okay? Ridiculous. But what I'm saying is you get people that are worshiping the devil, okay, they're worshiping him in whatever fashion that is, Lucifer, Satan, whatever name. You get people that are possessed with devils, okay? But then there's also new categories that are coming about. People that are on drugs, right? Be they pharmaceutical or street drugs. They lose their minds, right? They can post comments. Um, then you get people that are in the electronic smog, right? That exists in a lot of the bigger cities and things where you're just being bombarded by uh, Wi-Fi and EMFs and stuff like this. And you're, it starts to mess your head up. Um, there's a lot of different groups of people that are mentally ill. But... Some of these, you know, I try to follow some of the stuff, and some of them I'm just going, okay. Um, here we have mud CNG. This is common is about as clear as mud. No, you are not saved if you just confessing your heart to Jesus as your Lord and Savior. That's not enough. Romans 10 says the exact opposite of what mainstream Christian pastors is always telling everybody to say. Confess your sins and take Lord Jesus into your heart. No grace means you walk gracefully, you talk gracefully, you stand gracefully. With good posture, you breathe gracefully, you wake gracefully, you sleep on time, you eat the right food. That is grace. Not because of weather. Uh, it's interesting there. Spelled that wrong. It says in the Bible, because you can feel it inside of your body, what is supposed to happen. If you don't feel it inside of your body, then you don't have the Christ. Christ is intuition. Your gift is intuition beyond knowledge. Christ is in all our souls. Your soul will tell you what you need to do without any book, without any Bible. Christ exists without you, but if you're not connected to it, then you're not going to know. 
you will not be safe. Those that are connected to it are wise and they have knowing beyond knowledge because they feel it. And they know it and it has nothing to do with what they said or being dunked into a pool of water. That's what it means in Romans 10 when they said that Moses had the law but it, it but is not the law anymore. Righteousness is now the law and people have righteousness only when they are being righteous. I am that I am, calling himself God. If you know, you, if you know, you know. If you have to question, you are not. Okay. Oh, oh see, I'm, I wasn't standing gracefully, so I'm not saved, I guess, apparently. And you don't need the Bible. You just rely on your feelings and, and your mental illness, apparently. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Crazy. You know. <laughs> anyway, I'm showing you this, too, to, to, to help you understand. If you're a Christian, you're going to get attacked, okay? That just comes with it, you know. Um, I thought this one was good, too. Citizen Fitz. This guy looks too Jewish to be trusted. And I say, okay, tell that to the Lord Jesus Christ when you stand before him someday. You know? <laughs> Get up there at the great white throne judgment. Look up at the Lord saying, he looks too Jewish to be trusted. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Um, I'll show you this one here. This is my email. I have to hide some of the stuff up top there. But it says... Uh, this is the real Bible version issue exposed, my documentary that I did where, you know, it's just all on the King James Bible, how the King James Bible came to be, and the fact that the Jesuits are involved in the new versions. I show the proof. Uh, there's no question about that. This guy, Cody Johnson, says, Dumb, ser dumb sermon, uh, comment text, KJOism is just dumb. Uh, that's interesting because I did not know that my documentary was a sermon <laughs> you know, thank you for taking the Cody there thank you for taking the time to watch the documentary before posting your comment yeah <laughs> I get that thing a lot people you know this was stupid I, I don't you didn't cover this and you didn't cover that and I'm like it's in the video I talked about those scriptures I brought that stuff up you know half the people that comment you know I shouldn't say half but well half the, the enemies that comment aren't even watching my videos just kind of funny. CTC Christian Topics Channel. You work for your salvation, Brian, and you are a racist. Or you are racist. You didn't vote, so you can't complain about government policy. Okay? You use the same arguments Catholic use against the true gospel of believing by faith. No, I don't. You show no grace to other others, but call true believers devils. Well, if I'm lost, why would I show grace to save people? Kind of funny. You need to apologize to a certain person who put his life, live on the line, so you can have the freedoms you have. You need to repent, change your mind, and start believing in the gospel of grace without anything you do. It is then it no longer grace. Now here's my favorite part. A trust only in the finished work of Christmas on the cross. <laughs> See? That's what I've been missing all this time. I've always been, you know, because I'm lost, apparently, according to a lot of the people out there, you know, never mind the fact that I have, you know, so many preaching videos out there and all kinds of fruit to show for the ministry. That doesn't count. I, I'm lost because they don't like what I say. So, but I've always been wondering, what is the true gospel, you know, apparently that these people preach? There it is. The finished work of Christmas on the cross. <laughs> You know, I mean, there are nuts and then there are nuts, you know. That's just funny. So that's going to be it for those. Just to, wanted to share a couple of funny comments. Every once in a while, I'll see some, some real good ones, and I just stick them in a little folder there and stuff. So there you go, uh, my little video of, of funny comments. Uh, just crazy, some of the stuff that gets th thrown at me. It's going to be thrown at you. and um, But, you know, I will say that uh, the comments have definitely gotten a lot weirder over the years and uh, a whole lot weirder. And I, I really do think that people, as we move in towards this time of the rapture where the body Christ leaves and the time of Jacob's trouble gets started, I think people are becoming truly mentally ill. I really do. Um, 
and I don't mean that it's something that psychiatry can fix or whatever. Psychiatry has no cure for mental illness. They have treatment. They don't have cures. Uh, the only cure for mental illness, quote unquote, is the book and the Lord Jesus Christ and a personal relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, without that, um, God will give you over to a reprobate mind. He will let you be mentally ill. So uh, you will deal with these people. Um, as a Christian, you're going to deal with some people. You have dealt with people, I'm sure, where you just look at them and you're just like, okay, this is really weird. I mean, you know, just, uh, just stick with it, brethren. Um, just want to encourage you in that. So, uh, and, and, you know, make sure you put your faith on, in Christmas on the cross. You know, I don't know how that works, but, you know, we'll figure it out. That's going to be it. Thank you for watching.